Hi everyone, welcome to A Simple Tweak. I'm Evelyn. Today we are making one of my favorite soups, Spanish-inspired beef soup. If you are new here, I share an easy and delicious family-friendly recipe. This is a soup I have been making for years. Around this time of the year, it's always good to have a hot bowl of soup to give you comfort as the cold comes in. It is even more satisfying knowing that this beef soup is a healthy choice. So grab your ingredients and let's cook. To tenderize the meat, I'm using my Instant Pot. The meat is a combination of beef shock cubes and beef short ribs. We will start by seasoning the meat with two tablespoons of my sofrito, or look for the substitutions in the description box down below. Continue by adding one third of a cup of water. Next, grab your instant pot and put the lid on. Make sure the little nap is turned to seal. Press meat and high pressure for 20 minutes. All right, after 20 minutes, you can release the top nap, turning it to venting, so all the pressure releases. Just be careful and avoid using your hands as I did. Use a kitchen towel to prevent getting burned. Now let's move to the stove. In a large pot, add the butternut squash, potatoes, carrots, celery, and water. Turn the stove to medium high heat and add the noodles, which I break down using my hands I also add some cilantro. Next, add the salt and pepper and two tablespoons of low sodium vegetable bouillon. Stir to combine and cover the pot. Once it starts boiling, remove the lid and add the meat and broth. Cover the pot and let it cook for about 15 minutes or until the squash and potatoes are tender. Then, using a fork, mash a few pieces of these vegetables to make the broth creamier and thicker. It also provides a beautiful yellow color to the soup. to combine and cover the pot. Cook for about 10 extra minutes or until your desired consistency. I recommend letting the soup rest for at least 10 minutes before serving it. My 
family and I love to pair this soup with the side of white rice and some avocado. I have to say, this is a soup that tastes even better the next day. Thank you for watching. Let's connect in the comment section down below. If you took anything useful out of this video, please consider leaving a like. If you're searching for more easy step-by-step -step recipes with my little tweak, visit my website, asimpletweak.com, for more recipes like this one.